Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video showing you how to back up your SHSH blobs using the firmware umbrella. So what this means is that you will always be able to downgrade to whatever current firmware you're on now as long as you have the SHSH blob for it. Now, this is really important guys, is that if you do not have your SHSH blob, you will never be able to go down to that firmware again as soon as Apple decides that they no longer want to start signing it and let you on that. So as long as you have this, you always be able to downgrade to whatever firmware that you're on currently that you have the blobs for, okay? So let me just show you how to do this. It's a very, very simple tutorial. So we just come to this website. I will have the link in the description and then come down here and download it for whichever operating system you have okay so just download it, it's no big deal and go ahead and open it up now all you need to do is plug your iPod iPhone or iPad into the computer and it'll automatically uh, read it so as you can see here it shows my iPod uh, it's an iPod touch second generation on 4.0 and now guys all you need to do is click save my SHSH that's it then it will save your SHSH and you always be able to go down to whatever firmware you're on right now in my case it's 4.0 but there is one catch now you have to do this very very quickly as all it takes is Apple to stop signing 4.0 and they will probably be doing that any time now and then you and then you will not be able to get your SHSH blob so you will be out of luck so guys I highly recommend do this immediately do it as fast as you can and then on oh, if you come over here you can click display SHSHs and you can just make sure that you do have it did save correctly so as you can see here I have both 3.1.3 and 4.0 so at any time I can downgrade to these firmwares no problem okay guys so that's pretty much the tutorial the only last thing I want to show you is just how that you, you actually use these SHSH blobs and this is very very simple so all you need to do is come up here click t start TSS server so as soon as you're ready to go back down you need to downgrade or whatever just go ahead and click that button and as soon as it starts running all you need to do is open up iTunes and then just pick out your firmware so like let's say I want to go to 3.1.3 I just go sh hit shift and restore and then pick out my 3.1.3 firmware and then thanks to Tiny Umbrella I will be able to downgrade to it no problem so anyway guys that's just a really quick tutorial I highly recommend doing this because literally they will stop signing 4.0 at any time 4.0 as well as 4.0.1 and of course you always want to be able to use the jailbreak me exploit as who knows how long it'll be to until the next jailbreak comes out so anyway guys I highly recommend go ahead just check this out do it it shouldn't take you five minutes and then you will be protected so you'll never have to worry about not being jailbroken again anyway guys thanks for watching